Hi, brother and sister of the league. This is Eli Lamy from Big Smoke Cigar Kuwait. After a long time since the Miami's review, uh, I wish you all, and I was busy with the travel to Nicaragua, then the travel to Havana, Cuba. So today, we have a new, after a long time, we have the Cohiba, a new release, the what they call it, this is the festival pack, the Cohiba 50th anniversary Machituyoso or Majestuoso 1966 will show it to you. I said if we're gonna start reviews again, we'll start from the top. This is the gift bag. They come in a, a box like that, as you can see. Then the velvet and the varnish box or the what they call it it's a very fine box it's covered also with the plastic and then the cigars will come like that you can see in the camera two sticks they give us to us the Cohiba 19 the 66 Machtiosos these gonna be released as they say on 2017 it's only gonna be released uh, around 1966 boxes as they said it's going to be a, a very beautiful uh, humidor of a 20 cigars and they said the blend is amazing and it was a high end celebrating the Cohiba and we will see there is so much recommendation until now nobody give us a feedback we didn't have the chance to smoke it so we'll go ahead and smoke it and I will share with you the idea this is the sticks as you can see it's come with two labels the Cohiba new label and the 50 anniversary black label this uh, 5 by 910 and the ring gauge is 58 sorry you know so I'm going also mistaking so as we said this is the new release the Cohiba limited edition 50 anniversary, the humidor is going to be a 60 ring gauge and this is a huge 6, only 50 humidor is going to be released. There is an auction done on the festival night, uh, gala night and be sold for 320,000 euros. So uh, the lucky guy let him enjoy this cigar. So beautiful, well constructed small stick and uh, you cannot see that vein it's going to see veinless and a little bit oily not dark too much and not uh, as, uh, what I call it it's uh, a light stick you can say it's a caramel a stick the pre-light pre-light aroma is soury for the rubber and the foot the foot is cedary. We'll cut it and we'll see what it's gonna show us. We're gonna use the, the cutter they gave us to us on the Havanos. It's a beautiful one and very nice. It's gonna remind us or remind us about the, the great festival we have as a 50 cube Havanos. It's a, a very nice sharp cut. As you can see, I hope the draw is not going to disappoint me. The draw is great. Beautiful. Today we're going to uh, bear with it with the uh, Nespresso Rwanda. It's uh, a new release, limited edition from Nespresso Coffee. It also will go and wash our mouth and we'll start a new setback, what they call it, a new second or third. I'm going to use the lighter. Always a uh, long time, and everybody's asking. I hope we'll enjoy this stick and we'll have a nice smoke. Because you know, sometimes the cigar have a, a great, you know, 
surround and talk about and you get disappointed. But the Kuhibas, I think they work a lot to celebrate the 50th anniversary. Okay, we'll trust it right, one on the foot. The soft is nice. I was expecting it to be a strong start, but I think it's a because they said it's very uh, they blend it well, and uh, this is a an aged tobacco. And I think they, I believe, because you know usually you know when they uh, prepare for a celebration like this, I think. Usually, you know, sometimes, you know, the packs will be different than the release, but uh, this is, will show us later on what's going to be. The draw is amazing. As we said, this is a, a big ring gauge, a 58, and the length is great, you know, no, five by nine ten. This is a very nice length. A quiet, a pleasant cedar start. The burn until now, it's not showing that uh, the detail, but the ashes look good. The amazing thing is the draw is great. This is the idea because you know, Kohiba, you have always disappointment. But you know, I didn't have any disappointment with the, uh, the ground reservers or the Supreme. They were great. I hope this will compete them. Actually, the 90s is it's very strong stick as a line, and uh, everybody uh, who smoked it, he liked it a lot. But this is a different, I think this is different than, than actually even the wrapper is lighter than the 1960s. Very nice, calm cedar flavor as a start and that's quite well. As we said, this they will come in a very very nice. I posted uh, uh, before in the Facebook the humidor for the 90s the sample of humidor. The 20 cigars and a very nice uh, finish humidor. It will be a collective, and as we said, it will be only 19, 1966 humidor only for one. Beautiful, roasted knot approaching now, and that's nice. It's become, it's become a little bit stronger, and that's great. The burn is going well, until now there is no problems. Very nice flavor and the draw is helping, that's very good. This year was, you can say, the Cohiba festival actually, because they released the Miro and they released uh, the, uh, the, <coughs> the 50 anniversary big humidor, 50 humidors, and this is the new release, second, the third release for the Cohiba. And there is a limited edition between Trinidad, Romeo Juliet, and uh, Monte Cristo. Uh, it will be around four or five, six to the region, but usually there is a lot of delays. I hope they will cover the, the old stick before they, that. Uh, there is 
to hear as a star is not a, an aggressive, it's very nice and uh, the aftertaste is amazing. Until now, the character is going so great. Earthy flavor now approaching. And this is the traditional as in the Cuban cigars. And I like the earthy flavor. It's always because you know the click for the Cuban cigars normally when you sit here you're thinking about cigars, always the click it goes with the earthy flavor. It's, it's like a fingerprint. It's all you uh, it's like you know, it's in your brain. That's what attracts you for the Cuban cigar mostly, you know. This is my point of view, maybe some people will disagree with me. But I think the earthy flavor is the signature who attract the, the consumers to the Cuban cigars mostly. That in the Nicaragua, the pepper flavor actually they attract the, the other consumers cigar. Beautiful. Until now it's going well and uh, it's worth actually, it's worth to smoke it. Until now it's beautiful construction wise, flavor wise and aroma wise. Even the aroma is great. We'll go now and come back to you on the on the second third and I will show you this is you can see the ash it's very nice constructed dark gray ash and the burn is so amazing there is no problem we'll go now we'll come back to you on the second third hi back again with the Cohiba 1966 Machetiosos or Machetiosos I always have a difficulty on the pronouncing the ash fell down, we are taking the picture. This is the ash on the end of the sec of the first third. The first third was great, actually started cedary, then roasted not, then earthy. We'll put the ash and you can see the draw. The draw is amazing. The ash around one inch fell down, you are taking the picture and you cumulate it down. So the solidness of the ash is great, the construction is amazing. There is no problem even with the burn. So we'll put it down and we'll see what you're gonna give us. Uh, remove the label. I wanna have a problem later on. This is the label of the 1966. We'll start our second third and we'll see what are going to give us the ride until now is so unexpected so amusing the draw is great construction is great the flavors as a start start little bit step by step there is no bitterness until now or no aggressiveness Second, third, start with woody flavor, and the stick started to become a little bit stronger. And the woody flavor is great, actually, and the aroma is great for that. So today also we bear with the Nespresso Rwanda. It's a new limited edition. We zero check our palate, and that will give us the chance to indulge. This is a great limited release and enjoy and see, discover the flavor that you're providing. Beautiful aftertaste with the, with the woody flavor and uh, show a little bit strength and showing how the blend is going on with this cigar. Actually, 
the Cohibas, they have a great experience with their limited edition and limited releases. They always put a lot of efforts to release a great cigar for the consumers and let them enjoy and indulge themselves. Spicy sweet flavor now, a spicy with a little hint of sweetness. It's not as sweet that much, or not a licorice uh, a taste or flavor. It's a spiciness mixed, uh, you know, people, they will understand what I'm saying because it's, it's a mix and in, of enjoyment between the spicy flavor and the sweetness. And that's what provides you a great aftertaste in your palate. Still, the ritual hail is not uh, aggressive. Uh, it's an enjoyment, actually, and it trigger all your senses and this stick or this cigar actually changed my point of view more than the Supremus and more than 1966. Actually, it's a great combination. The ring gauge of the Supremus and the indulge of the 1966 is a very, very amusing. I hope everybody will try it. I'm not selling this cigar because I don't have it actually. Every puff, there is an enjoyment. Actually. Every puff until now, it's an enjoyment. Actually, beautiful. Healthy flavor come back again. That shows that this cigar is balanced until now. We don't know what you're going to show us on the finale, but until now, cigar is balanced and well blended. It's amazing. The combination between all the flavors are great. They are starting step by step, going up, and then they calm you down. Calm you down. Don't push you or aggressive view, this is the idea from the stick. It's a full enjoyment. You smoke a cigar to enjoy, not to get a headache. Beautiful. The burn is great. The ash, you can see dark gray ash, and the burn is so amazing. Until now, it's going so well, there is no problem. We'll go now, we'll come back to you on the finale and see what is going to give us this precious cigar. Hi, back again with Cohiba 1966, Magic Tiosos or Majesty Tiosos. This is the ash for the second third, and you can see the burn. It's razor sharp, there's no problem, and a dark gray ash, and the draw is so amazing. With a beautiful bouquet of flavors, we'll put the ash down and we'll see what the final give us. Actually, until now, it's a great cigar to smoke. So, to the Cuban on this stick. I smoke the Mido, it's a great, it's a small like a Siglu 1 and a fat like Siglu 6, so 
Until now, that is a success, and this is bullseye amazing. The Rizu hail so enjoyment. Until now, the flavor was great, cedary, roasted nuts, earthy, earthy go, goes back and forth, showing the balance and woody flavors give us a little bit boost and amazingness the spice is sweet let's see what it's going to show us now now we're showing roasted coffee roasted coffee amazing. roasted coffee flavor showing the bitterness and the flavor of the roasted coffee and the aroma of the roasted coffee. This is an enjoyment when here. We're going to understand what I'm saying. Actually, it's a, 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 what they call it a lovable flavor. You can find it in a stick beside the earthsmith in a Cuban stick. And also, the dark coffee flavor sometimes when you find it, it's an amazing. Give you the bitterness show. The bitterness of that dark coffee in a cigar. Until now, the draw is amazing. There is no harshness and there is no bitterness. It's a good example for a, a perfect cigar. And the aftertaste, the aftertaste is so great that they are learning that the, from the non Cuban cigar, the labels not as sticky like before. Woody flavor came back again, and now it's become a little bit, little bit strong. You can feel it in your nose when you let your hair. Actually, it's a great cigar to relax, give you the full enjoyment and a bouquet of flavor and uh, until now there is no fault actually it was amazing I was surprised by this trial and provide beautiful plump creamy smoke thick smoke that uh, you enjoy when you're smoking it because some people they dislike a cigar without the smoke they say it's it's tight or something it's not a tight actually because some cigars they don't provide that much smoke it's it's a matter of the blend the smoke one of the uh, at the angle of the blend you know. some cigars it's very good but they don't give a smoke you give you enjoyment so the smoke is not an issue, but for some people it's an issue. Cigar without smoke, they don't enjoy it. This cigar with a smoke, if you get it, enjoy it. Beautiful aftertaste, and uh, the burn is going so well. Definitely, everybody should have a box of these if we can.
Now it's coming down, see the flavor come back again. And uh, see the reaction it calm you down, removing any aggressiveness in the cigar and give you the relax. This stick, it's well blended, have a great bouquet of flavors, have a great construction, have a great burn and a great ash. You know, for me, this is, I'm not gonna say 10 by 10, this is nine by 10 or nine from 10. This cigar is excellent. I have a great experience with it until now. And for me, there is no fault with this. They did a great job on this one. I don't know what a great job they did on the bigger stick. Definitely, it would be more amazing because there is a lot of pressure on the other one. But this one is a great. The other one is so difficult to find because they are selling them in Huger of a 50 cigars. And the first one they sold it for 320,000 euros. And this is not affordable for everybody. I don't think they are going to sell them by sing single sticks. For me, it's a great finale that a cedary flavor ended a ride with a cigar. I hope I cover in this review all the detail about the new 1966 limited edition. It will be released with a box of 20, only 1966 humidor of 20 cigars. I hope everybody get lucky and get hand on a humidor. If you didn't get hand, that you get hand on a stick. This cigar is so amazing. Everybody will enjoy it. And if somebody didn't enjoy it, you should give it a, a second chance because, you know, if he can have a second chance. For me, it was an enjoyment. I have another stick. I will keep it for a rainy day. I hope everybody will enjoy my review. And if there is any question or any comments, I will be happy to receive it and answer it. If you like our video, you subscribe to our channel. This is Ali Alami from Big Smoke Cigar Kuwait. Salute everybody. Wish you all the best, brother and sister of the league. Thank you very much for your support. And thank you very much again for sharing the passion for cigar with me. See you again in another video and another cigar.